Oh my God, this story is wild. Speaking of the Olympics, uh, the, this China men's hockey team is just a wild story how they came to be. Mm. Since they're hosting the Olympics, they're, you get an entry for a hockey team. Well, any, right. any sport, including a hockey team, but China didn't have a hockey team. And so they had to make one. And, right. uh, well, that's hard to do to compete at the international level. So they reached out to a bunch of people all over the world, mostly North America, mm. and started to set up ways for them to play on the team and actually change the names of a lot of these guys. So they didn't... Oh, boy. It wasn't obvious what was going on, I guess. Um, uh, one of these people... Uh, who is it? Uh, Smith. What's his first name? Sorry, scroll back up a little bit. Let's see here. Uh, Jeremy Smith. Jeremy Smith was a goalie in the AHL, and he was on the bubble between the NHL. He was always a number three goalie. So you have like these type of players that are right on the cusp of playing professionally, but it just doesn't happen well. Okay. And China's like, hey, those are our type of guys. We can get them because they're not currently playing professionally, probably. But we need a team. And so they start reaching out to these people and they say, hey, come play in Beijing. Uh, these guys are like, are you telling the truth? Like, I'm not going to re renounce my citizenship, whether it's Canada or the U.S. That's the report here. And they're like, no, 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 don't worry. You don't have to. And they're, okay. like, they're like, really? We don't have to? And they're like, no, we'll give you a passport. Come play on this team. We need to be competitive. And so they brought them over to actually play, I believe, in a Russian league. Uh, uh, if you scroll down a bit, the name of the team was Kunlun Red Star in Russia's Continental Ho Hockey League. And then that served as an incubator for the eventual Chinese men's national team. Hmm. And so they were all going to come together, play together, and train for this 2022 Olympics. But as you know, Will, it's very hard to compete at the international level, especially against professional players. Right. So they went out and imported players like Smith that we mentioned, former NHL players Brandon Yip, Jake Chelios, and Spencer Fu. So obviously, if there was any kind of uh, Chinese heritage, they would gravitate towards those players. Right. Because it would be a better fit when they provide the passport to be on the team. They also hired the likes of Wayne Gretzky, Phil Esposito, and Mike Keenan to help their uh, program out. What? Like... As coaches or something? I, I Probably as advisors. Okay. I don't know if anybody was traveling or not, but they didn't want to be embarrassed when it right. came time for the Olympics. Now, I'm going to just spoil it a little bit. They lost 8 nothing to the U.S. in game one. But shout out to these guys. They're out there trying, man. But the craziest part is that they changed their names. So I guess they temporarily got a Chinese passport, and then they changed their names. So go and show some of the names here. Uh, let's see. Scroll down a little bit more. Uh, nah, maybe it was the other article that had the names, or maybe you guys scroll down even more. I feel like it was in here. Um, you gotta go, keep going. Well, this is a long article, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's comprehensive. ESPN, man, they gotta dive in. There we go. Every player is listed as a member of the Kunlin, Kunlin Red Star per the government's demand, and they had to get rechristened with Chinese language names. So oh. Jeremy Smith became Shimisi Jairumi, Jake Chelios, uh, the former Detroit Red Wings defenseman and the son of Chris Chelios. He became Kali Kaliosi Jieki. Brandon Yip is Jingjuan Ye, or Yi, and Dennis Osipov is Aksbofu Denisi. So these are the names on the jerseys oh. over there that they're playing under. And so you got to know, you got to look them up, see who they were when they were playing uh, in other leagues. Wouldn't they have like a Chinese name? Though, are you talking about the type of names that they gave them? Yeah. They're, they're not Chinese, these people. I know, yeah. but like they have to, I guess they have to directly translate it from their like real names. Well, they were trying, yeah, they were trying to, like, maintain some of their... They can't be, like, Jet Li or something? Yeah, it's a, it's a sick name for a hockey player. Yeah, yeah I guess I guess they have to have some uh, connection to their actual names. Huh. And then, I don't know if they were trying to somehow relate it to that region in the north, like, where that team was playing hmm. in the uh, Russian League. Because some of those names, I don't know, they, they kind of seem like a crossover. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know. 
Wow. Okay. It's it's hard to know what's going on, but I'm kind of weirdly rooting for this team. <laughs> Are they uh... just because I know just because I know how it is, man? It's hard. You play at the elite level. Now another thing happened. Another thing developed where the NHL players, because of COVID, they weren't going to go. They didn't go. So mm. even the American and Canadian team and so forth is not the top top. Mm. Available, available players. So you would have thought, oh man, maybe they can hang, but still, no, they got obliter obliterated. Well, eight nothing to the U.S. team. We'll see how it develops. But I, I have uh, some renewed interest in checking this out. These guys get okay. a chance to go in front of, you know, a big crowd. Some of them never had the op that opportunity. Or, sure, yeah, or at least not in a while. Opportunity of a lifetime. And uh, they might be, uh, they might have a different passport. <laughs> It's could be a movie. This story is wild. Like that's an story. experience too, you know.